Ms. Stewart, are you finished with your tray? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to write down what you took in, okay? Okay. After meals and at scheduled times throughout the day, measure and record the patient's entire fluid intake. Be sure to include in your total all liquids consumed or administered. Foods like gelatin, custard, ice cream, popsicles, and sherbet or sorbet are easy to overlook as sources of fluid. Even the fluid in ice chips must be counted as intake. Note that 100 milliliters of ice chips is equal to 50 milliliters of fluid. Okay, I'll get it out of your way, all right? Okay. Do you need anything else? No, I'm fine, thank you. Okay. I'm gonna just scan your bracelet. Any liquid medicine the patient receives, such as antacids, as well as the water or other fluid she drinks to take her pills, are counted as intake as well. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. To make sure your measurements are accurate, record them right away. Okay, do you need anything else? No, fine. Okay, thanks. If the patient is receiving an infusion of parenteral fluids, tube feedings, total parenteral nutrition, or blood components, measure and record those amounts too. Be sure to explain the need for I and O data to the patient and her family and assess their ability to participate in the process. Ask the patient and family to use the call light if the patient becomes incontinent, vomits, or perspires excessively. So if you notice that you lose control of your bladder or your bowels or have a lot of sweating, you need to use your call light and give us a call, okay? Okay. Okay. Do you okay. need anything right now? No, I'm fine. Thank okay. you. Explain that you need to closely monitor, measure, and record the drainage in the indwelling urinary catheter bag and in any wound, gastric, or chest tube drainage containers. Mark each graduated container with the patient's initials and bed location and use it only for the patient indicated. Apply clean gloves before measuring drainage and emptying containers at the end of your shift or as scheduled. Take note of the color and characteristics of the drainage. Use personal protective equipment if you anticipate splashing. To measure urine output in a urine hat, read the amount of urine before disposing of it in the commode. If your patient has an indwelling urinary catheter, observe the color and characteristics of the urine in the tubing and drainage bag. Sometimes a measuring device is part of the drainage bag. Otherwise, measure the urine using a graduated container. If your patient has a chest tube, measure the drainage by marking and recording the date, time, and your initials on the collection chamber at specified intervals. Change the collection device when it becomes full. Use a specimen container or graduated cylinder to measure the drainage from a Jackson Pratt drain. To measure output from any other device, such as gastric drainage or drainage in a larger pouch, open the clamp and pour the drainage into a graduated container or a cup with a 240 milliliter capacity. When you're finished, remove your gloves and perform hand hygiene. As part of your follow-up care, note the patient's I and O balance or imbalance and report to the healthcare provider a urine output of less than 30 milliliters per hour or any significant change in the patient's daily weight.